I'm Tiffany Watson, director of the Edward J. Lewis II Lawyers in the Classroom program. Thank you for joining us for the Lawyers in the Classroom program series. Today, we'll hear from Ms. Kaylee Zingler, um, DePaul Law student and attorney volunteer for the Lawyers in the Classroom program. And we'll hear about her volunteer experience and why she joined the Lawyers in the Classroom program. Welcome, Kaylee. Hi, thanks for having me. So I heard about it at the, the Spring 2022 Virtual Pro Bono and Services Activities Fair, which I heard about through the Pro Bono and Community Service Volunteer Bulletin at DePaul. I joined right away uh, when I started law school because I've always really enjoyed volunteer work. And I heard your presentation and it really struck a chord with me because um, growing up, my dad, he was a civil servant with the Air Force and he would always talk about how he thought civics education came too late and it wasn't like emphasized enough in school. And he really thought that it needed to happen sooner and there needed to be more of it. And he thought it would also spark like a positive change in this country if children were more educated from the beginning on how the government works. And, you know, maybe they would even become more active members at an earlier age. So he always planned on becoming a civics teacher when he finally fully retires. And I just immediately like sent you an email. I knew I had to try. So far, we've done two lessons, uh, both based on freedoms protected in the First Amendment of the Bill of Rights. Uh, we started with Tinker v. Des Moines because it was both a landmark case and it specifically laid out protection for freedom of speech for students in schools. And immediately the students did show a connection to the case and they displayed interest in discussing symbolic speech in school. They all seemed to pick up on the importance of freedom of speech and expression. And then in this case, the expansion to symbolic speech. But in particular, they all really wanted to talk about it in regards to school, which is what I was hoping for. And then next we did Wisconsin v. Yoder, which was chosen because it was an important decision in questioning the freedom of religion and how there may sometimes be interplay in the educational interests of the state that might not interact so well with some religions. And this case really resonated with the students. And it was cool to watch them be so passionate about the idea of parents making the decision to pull their children out of school after eighth grade, which these are eighth graders that we've been working with. Mm -hmm. So many of them volunteered opinions and that they not only thought that education through at least high school is really important, but that they didn't like learning about this case without hearing the opinions of the children in question. And I thought that was really cool and spot on. So they've been really impressing me with their analytical abilities. Um, I've been blown away by their evaluation responses, especially because um, in the class, it tends to be, you know, a few students who are more likely to volunteer. But some of the shy students who don't volunteer as much to read or answer questions, they are understanding just as much and they feel just as passionate about these subjects, which I can read in their evaluation forms. And all of them were able to articulate how much deeper their understanding of how protected freedoms are adjudicated in tricky situations, which I myself as a law student and as a human being struggle to do myself. So it's really cool to see eighth graders do it. Uh, Tinker seemed to click really quickly for them. At the beginning, only about half of them thought that they should have free speech within the confines of school. And then by the end, all of them raised their hand with the question. Through discussion, it was actually really interesting to learn that um, the half that didn't necessarily believe in full free speech in school, they were actually thinking about something more along the lines of like hate speech, which is a really sophisticated topic for eighth graders to like immediately think of. And it's a topic that is like by no means fully understood by adults or decided. Um, so that was really, that was really deep. And then they seemed to connect in a particular way to the Yoder case. Um, I was blown away with how passionate they were, how much they all wanted to share their opinions. And it was interesting when I steered them back to the focus on the freedom of religion and not just necessarily on children, children's parents pulling them out of school. It was interesting to watch how they had to really focus in on analyzing the complicated case before them and all of the factors involved, just like how the Supreme Court has to. So it's really cool to go over these landmark cases with middle school students uh, when in some of the cases I've only just read the full case text myself in law school. And so it's awesome to like watch them use the same analytic reasoning and in a lot of cases reach the same conclusions as myself and my classmates. And I've been able to see in them some of the same light bulb moments that I see in myself and my classmates, which is really cool. The only difference is they're younger and they're not there yet. 
Also, my partner teacher, she's asked really good questions about like how many Supreme Court justices there are, how they get onto the court, and how like majority opinions are reached. Um, the children were super fascinated to learn that justices aren't elected, but they're appointed by the president. And one of them even, you know, mentioned, like, yeah, that's why it's, I guess that's why it's really important to vote. And I was like, yes, this brings it back to my dad and how he always wanted children to have more of a foundational understanding of our government at a younger age. So that way they can, you know, become more involved in what happens in our country. So during the Yoder lesson, I was actually blown away because one of the students essentially stated the dissents in the case before we even got to the decision section of the lesson. So it was really cool to watch an eighth grader reach the same conclusions as a Supreme Court justice before we even finished or before he was even aware that that was what was decided and written about. That is excellent. Well, thank you so much. Kaylee, for sharing your thoughts and experiences. And we're so happy that you're part of the Lawyers in the Classroom program. To learn more about the Lawyers in the Classroom program, please go to www.chicagobar.org slash chicagobar slash L-I-C. Thank you.